Lisa Richland of the Library of Greenport, New York, I say that the public doesn't need 
We are a service profession, and we need a tender openness toward those we serve, students, faculty, children, adult learners, executives. Number six, if you are a mom or a dad or a grandparent, if you're in love, I don't even have to tell you this. But with Kathy Dice at the Association of Research Libraries, let me remind you to keep your life and work in balance. Make sure that you have interests, hobbies, distractions, and passions outside of the workplace. They will enrich your life and make the unbearable possible. Number seven, change is what happens. Change is the only surety. We can create and embrace change, or we can fear and fight it. But change will come in either case. It is far less stressful to frame change as an adventure. A corollary to this was expressed by two folks in very different fields of librarianship, John Haskell of the College of William and Mary, and Judy Jerome from the School Library System of New York State. Judy said, work within the system, but be subversive. John was more direct. Rules are meant to be bent and even broken. They can also be changed or discarded. Number eight. Develop a strong sense of your own self-worth and the worth of the profession. Honor and respect women and men you work with. Take the values you learned in library school and apply them in the real world. As Sarah Pritchard of Northwestern University says, don't permit a false dichotomy to be made of a social issue versus a library issue. Examine how the issue affects equity and access and intellectual participation for our users and for ourselves as professionals. Words of the ancient Jewish philosopher Hillel, if I am not for myself, who will be for me? And if I am only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? Number nine, make your particular vision part of the cultural memory of librarianship, write for publication. From book reviews to a column in the local newspaper, from letters to the editor at American libraries to feature articles in library journal, or your own library's website. Write about what you've learned, what you want to share, how you think about what you do. It is the deepest legacy you can leave for those who stand beside you and who will follow you. Ten, and last. I believe that librarianship is the connecting of people to ideas. Now, very late in the 20th century, it doesn't matter often where the people are as they call up and dial in facts over. It doesn't matter where the ideas are either, in a book or on a video or over the net. And it's not just good ideas, not just worthy ideas, but bad ideas and lousy ideas and dangerous ideas and silly ideas. We particularly need to save dangerous and silly ideas, because if we don't, who will? Go and celebrate now with your families and your loved ones. We share a great profession, and we get to buy books with other